Well, I think it's time for a short break. What do you think? I know. <laughs> Hydration break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been getting all kinds of comments like, you know, what are they like? Let's see. Take your time, relax, and hydrate or something. To yeah. That <laughs> Don't work too hard. You're not as young as you used to be. Blah, 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 blah. That's right. <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> Folks, we are pacing ourselves. We're, you know, we can't work a full eight-hour day, but we're good for four or five, four sometimes five. six. You know, six is pushing it. So yeah, so and we're getting some stuff done, right? Yes. Yeah, we wish we were further along, don't we all? Don't we always wish we were further along? Yes. Yeah, but we have got some stuff done. If you remember, uh, in the last video, we showed where we had uh, completed all of the first layer of insulation. Let me spin around here so you can see what I'm talking about. And, uh, you know, we had the whole first layer of insulation done. And we did leave these two cavities over here open until I determine exactly how I want to bring the uh, refrigeration tubes in for the mini split that we'll be using for air conditioner this time. And I've had some uh, recommendations from a few followers and we appreciate that. So uh, we're going to weigh all the information and then when we start looking at the unit itself we'll we'll get more into that and figure out exactly what we're going to do when it comes to that point but the best thing to do though is to focus on what's at hand right that's right yeah <laughs> one thing at a time if, if you try to think too far ahead and i know we get a lot of questions well what about this what are you going to do about this what are you going to do about this what are you going to do about this guess what some of this stuff we don't know yet you no, know no it's we're it, winging it <laughs> You know, we have we have ideas about what will what will work here, what won't work work there, and things like that. But it does take time, and you can't really see exactly how something's going to work until you get to a certain point. You know, so that's how we're we're approaching those things. We have a good idea how it's going to be, but we still don't know exactly how we're going to attain that until we get to a certain point. Then it's easier to see what we need to attain. Right? All Sounds right. Like a plan. But let's uh, let's show them where we're at right now. We've been working on the second layer of insulation on this wall. And we are not done, so don't start getting all excited and start saying, well, you need to do this and you need to do that. We're not done. This ain't our first rodeo, right? <laughs> you know, we've done this before. We're, we're but, putting burn strips ever approximate where we know we're going to uh, right. be attaching things. Right. Like, For example, yeah, we, we're, what we're trying to figure out, because this wall is going to have plumbing on it, you know, because the kitchen sink will be somewhere in this ballpark right in here, of course. And, of course, the bed frame is going to be right in here. Um, the hot water, hot water, the water heater will be somewhere in this ballpark right in here. So we had to think about what we might want to be, you know, how we're going to be running plumbing and things like this. So this one before that we have running right along here this one right here this is where the hot and cold line will head down towards the uh, sink in the kitchen and it'll also be perfect to run on over here and head out, out to the shower and of course that double blue line that you see right there is where the petition wall will be and the shower pan will be just on the other side of that and that's our shower pan right there the extra one before that you see just off of the floor right here and right over here, that's uh, we put that it because we're going to be raising the floor six inches right here. We put that in the right spot so we'd have some meat behind the paneling in order to uh, secure the flange with the shower pan all around. And we think what we're probably going to do because we've been thinking about this, we're probably just going to line the shower walls with FRP, right? Yeah. Right. We really wanted to go with that PVC. Uh, board. Royal Products. Yeah, Royal Products makes it, but it's Nobody hard to come it. by and <laughs> it's expensive, but the price wasn't, I mean, yeah, we hate spending more money than we need to, of course, because we are on a budget, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, we have to, sometimes we have to wait until we can replenish the credit card. Find it. <laughs> yeah, but it's hard to find stuff, so uh, FRP is plenty, is plentiful and it's light. And it'll be fairly easy to work well, with. Well, we're going to so. go ahead and line it with quarter inch plywood and then put the FRP. Exactly. But we'll seal it all with Lexel and everything. But that's down the road. So, you know, wait and see what we're doing there. Uh, don't get excited. <laughs> yeah. So, 
So anyway, that's why we had to think about where that one before had to go there and that particular lower one right there so we'd have a place to uh, mount the shower pan. And we're raising the floor six inches for another reason which has to do with a sump pump that we're going to be using to pump the gray water from the shower and from the uh, bathroom sink on up into the gray water tank which will be over in this area here. Now the extra one before that we put right here that's real close to where the top of the bed frame is going to land so we had to consider that. We had to consider that and make sure we had some good meat there to uh, attach the bed frame because you know keep in mind folks these things are rolling earthquakes when they're going down the road right? That's right. So you know these little extra things that we do now and then is necessary in order to make sure that everything holds up you know and uh, when we start building the bed frame we're going to be using uh, gussets on that to strengthen it there's all kinds of little bitty things we'll do just to add that little bit of extra strength just in case we need it right yes. and then of course uh, this one right here is exactly center where our first panel will be which is going to be at 48 inches you know a four foot wide sheet of panel will come up to right here and everywhere we know we're going to have an end joint we're doubling up right here and we still have more strips to do. We thought we would just show this to you right quick and give you an idea of what we're doing. We're attaching these with sheet metal screws. Uh, we bought these from Jake Sales. Jake Sales. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, Jake Sales. And it was a bargain. Uh, we got like 500 screws for... $45. Yeah, $45, something like that. So, but they're working out well. They're working out well. So... Uh, that's it. We still have more to go here. We're going to go ahead and frame out some around the, where the windows are going to go to give that more strength. We're going to run some more fur and strips along here. I'm going to finish this row out and then we'll go ahead and finish our second layer of insulation which we have kind of started right down here. And then we'll put the paneling up. So we'll probably see you while we're doing that. I know we look kind of rough, don't we? I thought he'd been working. I know. <laughs> Deb said I had glue on, on the bill of my hat here, and I think I'm wearing some of my lunch on my shirt right here, too. <laughs> and you're sweating a little bit yeah, today. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah, it's still not bad, though. It's still not bad, though. Well, we got some progress done, didn't we? Oh, yeah. 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 Show you what we got done so far. We got all this wall here insulated, and we went ahead and put the paneling up all the way down that wall there. And we still have the wall down there on the end to go. We've got our furring strips up. We've got our uh, insulation in place. Now there's two layers of insulation there. And the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and put uh, the same paneling up over there. Uh, wasn't difficult at all. You just got to think your way through it. Ain't no thing. What I prefer to use uh, putting this paneling up, of course, I like to glue it to the uh, furring strips. And I also uh, prefer to use my, uh, my staple gun. Uh, shoots a quarter inch uh, crown staple and when we're shooting uh, these on to the furring strips we use a one inch staple for that. Uh, they hold very 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 well. <laughs> Extremely well. well. We've tried to pull some out before haven't we? We yes. tried to pull something <laughs> apart that we stapled together. Yeah. <laughs> but they do hold very very well and of course when you add the uh, you know the glue along with that it uh, it just really makes it for a real good uh, real good job. It holds up really really well. Anyway, so we're moving right along here. We're going to uh, finish putting the paneling up on the wall down there. And then what we're going to do, because uh, Marvin and Mary showed up yesterday, and Marvin and Mary brought a lot of our uh, stuff we're going to be using for our battery bank. Right. Yeah, they brought our batteries and... Well, just a whole bunch of stuff, and Marvin's the guru on that, so... So we want to take advantage of yeah. him while he's here. <laughs> so what we're going to do, once we finish the paneling uh, on this end wall, we're going to stop that, and we're going to move on to framing the uh, bed frame. Uh, go ahead and frame up the uh, wall petition for the, for the shower pan and for the bathroom area down there so that uh, we can uh, get that ready to go so Marvin can show us what we need to do as far as getting our battery bank hooked up properly and all that. 
so it's 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 not exactly the way we want to do it no we, we like to do everything in sequence yeah this is a little yeah. bit out of sequence <laughs> but uh, they're here and they've got a short window of the length of time they can be here so we want to take advantage of uh of that help from marvin yes. and his knowledge yes and so we will go ahead and get that part done and then we'll get back to finishing up the walls on this side and down the end and uh Hey, we'll see what happens after that. Yeah. Anyway, that's where we are to this point, folks. We're going to say goodbye for now. This is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. We always say this, we're not camping. We're living. Y'all take care. See you again pretty soon. Bye-bye now.